Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to use SendPulse. SendPulse is an all-in-one marketing platform. What do I mean by that? Well, with SendPulse, you will be able to get access to their free CRM. You can also use this platform to create chatbots and you can also use it to do email marketing. So you can create different email campaigns. You can also use it to create landing pages. And if you want to get involved in SMS marketing, you can also do that. To get started, you can click the link in my description to sign up and you'll be able to get $10 off. If you would like to start off with their free plan, you can do that by using the link also. You can sign up. And you can see with the free plan, you'll be able to add up to 500 subscribers and you'll be able to send over 15,000 emails per month. And you'll still get access to 100 megabyte of image storage. And if you were to go up to their paid plan, which starts off at $6.40, you can see that you'll be able to send unlimited number of emails. And their most expensive plan at the moment starts off at ten dollars and 75 cents per month so it all depends on the amount of subscribers that you have so as you gradually grow you'll be able to step up your plan this is definitely one of the best platforms i've come across when it comes on to email marketing overall now once you are signed up you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this and the first thing that we'll be doing is creating an email marketing campaign. To do that, all you'll need to do, you can tap on create campaign right here. After you have tapped on create campaign, you will be redirected to this dashboard. So from here, you can see new email campaign. And from there, you can tap right where you see sender email address and you could enter your email address right there. And you can also select the mailing list. So you could select the mailing list right here. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you can tap on next. So let me add a subject real quick. Then we'll simply tap on next at the bottom of the page. After you have tapped on next, from here, you can select a template. Which all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. You can choose to build your own template if you want by tapping on template builder. But what I would recommend you do if you are just getting started is tap on featured templates. By tapping on featured templates, you can see the different categories at the top and you can scroll down and you can choose one of these templates right here. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this template. All I would have to do is simply tap on it. Then it is going to pop up and you can see a better preview of how it looks and you'll scroll down and tap on edit at the bottom of the page. Once you have tapped on edit, you're going to be redirected to a new dashboard. On this new dashboard, you'll now be able to edit the template so you can see the different features on the left hand menu option that you can add. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add text. All you have to do is drag and place the capital and common A right there. And from there, you have a new text section on which you can add anything you want. So let's say, for example, I want to type in simple answers right here. I can do that. You can also add links by tapping on insert links and I can align it in the center right there. And going over to the left hand menu option once more, you can insert pictures, you can add buttons if you want, you can add anything you want from the left hand menu option right here. And you can edit any section by simply scrolling down and you can also tap right where you see download a PDF and from there you can change the button text, you can add the link that it will be redirect your customers to and you can change the button color and so on. Once everything is there like in, you can tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview how it looks. And they show you how it looks on the desktop right there and they show you how it looks on mobile. Once everything is there like in, you can send a test email if you want. Then all you'll need to do now, 
you can tap right here and you can tap on save and continue after you have tapped on save and continue let me tap on continue anyway from there you can enter your company name company address and phone number and then you'll be able to send your email so that is how you'll be able to start your email campaign as you can see right there so now we have this another thing that i will also be showing you to do let me go back to the main dashboard so let's go back to the main dashboard real quick so let me close out of this so i'll tap right here once on the main dashboard i'm now going to show you some other features of SendPulse. so at the top menu option right here you can see that they also offer chatbots so if i were to tap on chatbots I will show you that you have numerous options when it comes on to chatbots. By simply scrolling down, you can tap on connect channels. And from there, you can build a Telegram chatbot, Facebook Messenger chatbot, WhatsApp chatbot, Instagram chatbot, a Viper chatbot, or you can tap on live chat right here, and you'll be able to create a live chat for your website. All you'll need to do is simply paste in your site URL right here. Then you will tap on continue and you'll be able to quickly create a live chat widget for your website. You can also use their CRM feature by tapping on CRM right here at the top menu option. And from there, you'll be able to access their free CRM. So you can see it right here. All you'll need to do is tap on get started. After you have tapped on get started, from here you can tap on add deal and you can start adding your customer's name and your deal right here. So you can create your CRM for your business. You can also use it to create landing pages by tapping on websites at the top right here. After you have tapped on websites, from here you could tap on create a website for free. After you have tapped on create a website for free, you have two options. You can choose to create a bio link page for mobile or you can choose to create a website, a business website or an online store. You could tap on that. Then you can see the different templates that they provide right here. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates. You can choose from different categories as you can see here. So if I were to tap on e-commerce, you can see different templates that I can choose from. All I would need to do is simply tap on the template that I would like to use. Once I've tapped on the template, I can select edit and you'll be able to edit that particular landing page or website. So you can quickly create a website from here. Another thing that you can also do is if you would like to create pop-ups for your website, all you will need to do is simply tap on pop-ups from the top menu option. Then from there, you could tap on create project. After you have tapped on create project, you could enter your website URL. Then from there, you could tap on get code and you'll be able to get a pop-up. Those are just some of the features of this wonderful platform. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And again, remember, if you decide to give it a try, please click the link in the description to sign up.